Alright guys, so it's a couple of days later since we uh, put this pack together. I've got it uh, set up here with this uh, USB charger running off it. I've charged uh, phones and power banks and uh, whatnot off it and uh, had them running for a couple of days. Um, Fusing the capacity meter in this um, charger, it comes up 0% and then turns off to do a cell protect. We I mean, know it's not actually 0%. Because if it was, it'd be down. So it's 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5. So it's sitting hard on the four there. I'm not worried about it until it gets down to the line above the uh, big one there, which is three. This this is actually very accurate, uh, and you can actually adjust it. And I'll check that against the digital multimeter first. And well, it's just something extra that's going to be discharging it, and at the same time, it's nice and accurate, and it's not flattening my multimeter's stupidly expensive nine volt batteries. Clamp meter, clamp meter. So what I'm going to try is disconnect this again and re-energize it. It still thinks 0%. I might leave it off for 30 seconds or something, I don't know. Long enough for it to not have any residual charge and uh, then try again because uh, that's my take to work power bank and that it's been used a bit today and uh, yeah basically I'm just going to flatten this pack down until we get to a point where it's uh, down to 3 volts then we're going to charge the whole thing back up with a lipo charger and take the charge capacity rating off the lipo charger at whatever it stops at so um, fingers crossed the lipo charger's capacity gauge will read high enough um, that would be nice, and uh, then we can see what kind of result we get out of it. Following that we might have to try and use something like this. I believe these don't turn on to about 5 volts though. So. Well we can check that now, let's check that now. It doesn't turn on. Shit. This could be the one at over voltage and cook. The other one could be on the electric bike still. It's okay, I've got another. One day I had a heap of these 18 volt Makita batteries and I daisy changed a bunch of them to run a electric element on DC. Anyway. I forgot that they can only do 60 amps. I've seen the 100, thought 100, had 100 locked in my head that, yeah, they can take 100. They can't take 100. We'll open that up on another day and we'll have a look at what's inside. Probably won't be super interesting, but someone might want to know. Alright, guys. So, uh, it's been a couple of minutes since I disconnected this. That's what I was after. See how it flashes to turn on? That's better. Oh, it's off again. Can you keep going or what? Zero. It's not happy about something. Take some light off it. Yeah. 
I reckon that power bank's just been a bit greedy. That's what it's not liking. I'll just let the charge, let the tablet charge up instead. It's a potato of a tablet, but it's got like a four amp hour um, lithium battery in it, so it's good for looking at stuff on eBay and watching people that I watch on YouTube. Anyhow, that's that.